Okay, so we're doing a test here to see how we can control pressure by simply running the VFD on the motor. The intent here is to see how in a varying demand we can maintain a pressure. Simply using the VFD, we have pre-programmed the VFD to 80 PSI. Uh, you can see where it reads 80 PSI, oh, where it reads 80 PSI right there. It's in stop mode right now. The, the pressure has been relieved. I just opened up a valve to show that the pressure is gone. We've got some water in the Kel column. We've got a small pulsation dampener. This will indicate that we have no pressure in the system. We'll see if there's any pressure in the pulsation dampener and that also shows zero. Okay, so let's go live. We've hit the go button. We can see that the pressure is slowly climbing. We're approaching the 80 PSI right now. Now we've reached it and now we're still filling. We're still pumping because we're filling the pulsation dampener. We can see that the Hertz. Oh. Hold on one second. What are we doing? I gotta put the password in in order oh. to allow us to get the frequency. Okay. So we can see where it's climbing. We can look over at the pulsation damper. That too is climbing. There you go, back to frequency. Now you can see the frequency. We're still running at 100% or 60 hertz. There we are. Our pressure in the pulsation damper is climbing. We are approaching the set point. You can see where the hertz is dropping down to where it will ultimately meet its demand and it will go to sleep. We can program the rate of speed at which this simple VFD drops. But you can see, you can hear the VFD slowing down and it's just gone to sleep right now. Cool. It's in the sleep mode. We can take a look at our pressure. And we can see we've stabilized at, we set it for 80 or 85 and 80. And we're darn near close to that. It's not perfect. I don't know if we have this set. Yeah, that might be 80. We can see that the pressure then the on the uh, suction accumulator, it matches that. Now I'm going to bleed off some liquid by opening this valve, and you'll see some of the blue fluid come running out. Now that was coming out faster than the pump can create it. And you can see that the, it's still set for 80 PSI. You can hear the motor running, and you can see the pressure climbing back to the 80 PSI. The benefit of running the VFD off of the pump motor is it's a direct response rather than the actuator is a, the actuator is a uh, like a second tier response to the pressure. So we are climbing just a little bit above 80 right there. We're still at 80, 80 PSI. It's not showing us the hertz. And the motor has now gone to sleep.